Well, hi guys, uh, today I wanted to do just a brief sort of overview on um, bedroom design in Dwarf Fortress. It's not an exact science and I don't exactly have it nailed down but I've got a sort of general idea on some of the things you can you can sort of can do and how to sort of raise the value of a you know very small room you know, to make it a decent room or a great room. Now depending on the dwarf and whatever position they hold they're going to want a different level of um, bedroom or study um, to suit their needs so basically they start off they start off as meager being the lowest sort of quality of bedroom and um, these bedrooms over on the right pretty much so these these are all meager um, after meager you get modest now this bedroom's just got a standard this is just normal straight onto this floor here just basic uh, furniture, nothing special. Uh, I mean, a superior maybe, yeah. But otherwise, it's just just general stuff. There's nothing special about it really. Um, now this one, I put in um, a carved, an engraved floor. So you, on any stone surfaces on this stone wall, you can actually smooth the floor off, and then you can get your dwarfs to engrave it. Now, depending on the skill of the dwarfs, um, obviously the engraving can come out as sort of better quality over here if you see this one uh, on the top of the screen you can see the three little lines where it's just detailed this means this is an exceptional in, in, engraving on this sort of picture this actual section of the floor in this room it's pretty much so standard yeah it's just they're all basic but that's enough to raise the value of that room even with crappy furniture to um, to modest now over here I've got two more rooms actually I'll show you this first so Obviously with all the, all the furniture and everything you create within the game, you have sort of different levels. So on this first bed here, now you see where it says pine bed, there's nothing either side of it, it's just standard. So this is just a basic pine bed, you know, a common pine bed. Value 10. Uh, next one. Now it's got the two little light lines. Now this means this is um, a well-crafted pine bed. Value's a little bit higher. Gonna make a dwarf a little bit happier if he gets to sleep in that bed. Here we've got a superior pine bed with the little stars. So this is superior quality, value's gone up again. Now, over here, we've got an exceptional pine bed, which this is um, sort of third level down from the top. On top of this, you get um, artisan and masterpiece. I don't actually have any of those, though I do have a bed over here, um, this one, which it is sort of a, a mixture of exceptional superiors because it's got um, green jade stones on it, so it's value 600, so that's worth a lot of money. So that's a really good bed. The, um, now that's the same for doors. So this is standard door, standard door. Um, this is an except, exceptional door, something else I'll show you in a minute. That's an exceptional door. So within these two rooms, basically they're essentially the same. They've all got um, detailed um, engraved floors. Uh, everything in this room is exceptional. So an exceptional willow chest, uh, exceptional willow cabinet, exceptional bed, and the exceptional door. Now. I think this is decent, this room, so it's, this is the dwarf who owns it, much. So if we select here, go to him, select rooms, yes, decent quarters. So there, again, so it's meagre, modest, uh, standard quarters, then decent quarters, then great quarters. So this is, this is quite a good room, really, to be fair, even though it's tiny. Now, this room next to it, now, it looks the same, pretty much it is the same. The floor is a little bit better, so in here we got, um, this is an exceptional floor. This was a masterpiece floor, and I think there's another masterpiece and another exceptional floor there, so I got quite lucky with the floors in this one. But everything within there, now the bed is an exceptional bed encrusted with lavender jades. Um, the cabinet is exceptional ca cabinet encrusted with rose quartz. And this chest is really expensive. This is what basically bumps the value of this room up so much. Now this chest is worth a thousand. It's um, a, Exceptional chest and crusty with air sapphires, so the, val the value of this room is literally lifted by this on its own. So that's pretty much what makes this room great. But I just thought it was interesting how you can have, you know, a room in such a small footprint, be actually be a great room. So that'd be good for you know for sort of quite a quite a high high dwarf within within your um, your fortress. But like I say, that's just in a, you know whatever a two by two. But just because of the stuff is encrusted, obviously if you run a bit bigger three by three, you can put a few more items in there. Maybe like an armor stand or. A display cabinet, something else to sort of bring the value up. But like I said, that's just an example of a small room where you can do it. Now over here, um, I did the same thing, but with some bigger rooms. Now, I believe this is just a decent room. Now this comes out as a great room, like the small room, but 
the reason this comes out of the great room is again the same thing i've got another one of these wooden cabinets in there that's worth a thousand but the floor in this room is completely unremarkable it's just literally detail detail it's, they're all standard i got quite lucky in there um so even though it's a bit bigger room it didn't really come out as sort of any higher value because the the engravings are poor on the floor now this room on the other side over here this is uh, the opposite so a lot of this floor this is um i think that's a masterpiece um that's a masterpiece that's an exceptional masterpiece so the guy who did this got really lucky so even though there's only three items in here so they're all okay exceptional wood uh, furniture but even though there's only three items this actually becomes a um i think it's a grand room let me check uh, whose bedroom is it olan this is the guy that made it so let's go find olan rooms yeah so he's got a grand bedroom so like i say the bedroom is much bigger but it's really sparse there's literally nothing in it now you could take this to the, the next level up the next level up would be sort of like for, you, for the, the the king of your your fortress um and you could start putting in um i don't know again armor stands display cabinets you know weapon racks anything to raise the raise the value up so again encrusted with gems and things like that and then you could you could bring this sort of this room up to the next level now, this is quite a cheap way of doing it. Obviously, engraving's free. It's potluck. You never know what you're going to get. But if you wanted to raise the value of a room, you know, maybe on this footprint, you know, you could build gold block walls if you wanted, or gold block floor. Obviously, that's going to cost a fortune. You have to mine it all. But like I say, with engraving, you know, you can get away with, with you know, making a, a really, really sort of high value room if you just get lucky with some of the, the detail that goes into the floor. Like I say, so this one, obviously, grand bedroom. But I mean, the one I'm happiest with really is this little diddy one that came out of the great bedroom because even though it's tiny, it's like everything's um, really high value. With the beds to make all the uh, the furniture, um, that? people dropping seeds on the chairs. To make all the furniture as I wanted it, um, basically you select your jeweler's workshop. Um, with this button up here, you, you may know this, you may not. You can select which stockpile you're going to draw off. So I created this as a stockpile here, and within this stockpile, I only allow um, exceptional and, and higher quality um, furniture in there. So when I go to select something to make, um, let me have a look. I want to make a uh, furniture with gems. It's only to pick something exceptional from within that that, pl that place there. So so we're in there. What's he going to get? So he's now going to make. Oh, he's going to put more gems on that willow bed. I didn't know he could do that. So what's that going to be worth when he's finished with it then? Is it going to be worth more? Finally crafted out much. Uh, same value, but he's just put a few more gems on it. I didn't realise you could do it twice. But anyway, like I said, that only draws from this stockpile, so it's a good way you can even... I could actually reduce it down more because at the moment I've got it set as um, I don't want bins in there because initially they brought loads of bins in, in there and, I, and earlier on when I was trying to make it they were trying to do jewel encrusted buckets and barrels but you could obviously reduce that down more just to have like you know, just chests if all you wanted to do was engrave chests um, encrust chests with gems or just beds or whatever you want but like I say it's a good way of getting a bit of extra value out of your things you know, especially for boosting your room price I say that it's not an exact science. Initially, I thought putting the, these sort of um, stone walls around would sort of raise the value. Thinking, you know, a la Rim, Rimworld, because obviously, I, I'm, well, not obviously, but I've played a lot of lot of hours in Rimworld. So in that, you change the outside walls. Maybe it does raise the value, but not enough to sort of substantially change the value of the room. Like I say, within this room, I mean, this is what changes the value. The the decent walls. I mean, there's some on the back, exceptional here. But on this, this. There's literally no difference between this room and that room, even though that's like that. And there's no difference between this room and that room, even though that's got nice walls and that's got you know, stone walls. But anyway, like I say, if, I hope it helps you. If it didn't help you, uh, tough shit and <laughs> bad luck. Yeah, but no, it's, uh, obviously there'll be a lot of people that have probably seen all this, but it's you know it's new to me and I'm pretty sure it'll be new to, new to other people. Um, but I hope it helps you if you sort of figure out how to sort of get the most out of your little rooms. And good luck with your game. Uh, if you like the video, please leave leave a like, and um, I'll try and find something else to do a, a tutorial on the next thing that sort of stumps me in Dwarf Fortress, which I'm pretty sure will be very very soon. Well, thanks for watching.